Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everyone. This is John from Diary of a Trader. It is 2.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this 8th day of January, 2020. All right, today's video, we're gonna talk about like Forex pair trading strategy or, or you know, looking at pairs, um, you know, against each other and how to, you know, kind of determine which ones are gonna do better than the others. And, you know, ultimately, you know, I, I've mentioned before that one of the things that you should get used to doing is uh, uh, using the dollar index as kind of a reference point for what is going on in for foreign currencies. The dollar index, you know, it, it, it is a basket of currencies and it and um, it's made up of a certain percentage of of some of the world's uh, reserve currencies. You, you've got the euro makes up uh, over 50 percent, a little over 50 percent of it, followed by the Japanese yen, the pound, the Canadian dollar and so forth, um, Swedish kroner. But that really doesn't help you determine, you know, which currencies are underperforming or performing. You know, the, the dollar, the U.S. dollar, you know, uh, uh, currently is the most uh, reserve used currency on the planet. It, it, you know, commodities are monetized in dollars. Um, you know, it is just one of those those kind of consistent things that exist. And, and in some ways it's good, in some ways it's bad for trading. Personally, I think it's good. I don't care what the currency is. If there's some type of currency that is the strongest out there that everything is weighted against, we need it. I don't care if it would be the dollar or the Australian dollar or if it was gold. We just need something to kind of be a fulcrum or a pivot. Now, we can do something like this and, and turn it into uh, a way to kind of capitalize on other foreign currency pairs, okay? So this is what I want, this is what I want to call your attention to. So on the top left, and maybe it would help if I put the watermark. Okay, so we've got the pound dollar on the top left of the chart. And then on the bottom left, we have the Australian dollar. Now I've highlighted yesterday's daily candlestick, okay? And so they're both bearish, all right? They're both bearish, they both they both closed below the open. And you know, the, the you know, a 20 pip move in the Australian dollar is not the same proportionally as a 20 pip move in the pound dollar all right we look you have to relate them to the percentage of the move the percent the proportional percentage that has been lost or gained the way that you can use this to your advantage is by taking how the pound is performing against the dollar and how the australian dollar is performing against the dollar and you can really kind of put those two other currencies against each other, okay? So what we're saying, what I'm saying is, is that if you look at the pound dollar and you see it's losing against, the pound is, is, is losing against the dollar and you know the Aussie dollar is as well, but which, which one of those is outperforming, which one of those is outperforming uh, the other in re related to one another? So obviously when you look at the chart, or if you look at the percentage loss, you can see that on that day, the pound held up better against the dollar than the Australian dollar did, all right? And when you see something like that, that, that kind of creates you to go over to another pair where you can use that to your advantage. So right over here, we can see, here's yesterday's candlestick for the pound Aussie dollar, okay? Because the pound even though it was down, but because its relative strength against the US dollar was better than the Australian dollar, you can see how much stronger the pound was relative to the Aussie dollar. You can see how much it closed up on that day, all right? And the same applies for actually what's currently happening today. On the, you know, we have the inverse uh, move of that today. We can see today, we see the pound dollar is again down uh, uh, that we see cable, the, the pound is down against the dollar, but today we see the Aussie dollar is slightly higher, just, just a hair, but that's enough to cause the pound Aussie to trade lower, all right? And so you can compare these two against one another. If, if looking at the candlesticks themselves is not a very helpful, um, <coughs> if that's not a very helpful uh, a, a, a tool, we can always just revert back to, you know, some type of a, a list that identifies the pairs. You just look on your list. You can see the Aussie dollar. How is it performing against the uh, against the dollar dollar today? It's flat. How is the euro performing against the U.S. dollar? It's flat. 
So what this tell it's actually lower. So I bet if I pulled up the Euro Aussie, I would see that it is trading uh, lower against the Australian dollar, which is trading flat against the dollar. The Australian dollar is outperforming the Euro in respect to how they're performing against the dollar. So if I go to the Euro Aussie dollar, Euro Australian dollar pair, a lot of dollar pairs, man. Get tongue twister. What do I see? I see a fairly significant drop in the Euro Australian dollar Forex pair, okay? When you are looking at the markets in Forex and trying to determine pairs to trade or if you like trading some of the, the some of the other uh, cross currency pairs do take a look at things outside of the dollar index you know definitely if you see the dollar index is trading higher that is an important event that is telling us that all the world currencies are going to suffer against the dollar that means all the dollar pairs are pretty much going to be trading lower rarely do you see the dollar index trading higher and then the pound trading against positively against the US dollar that doesn't happen that often okay uh, it, it, it can but it's, it's very rare but if you see that the dollar index is up, then you, you need to take a little time and go through your charts or go through your watch list and see which dollar pairs are, you know, underperforming or outperforming the other currencies. How is the pound performing against the dollar? How's the Australian dollar? How's the Kiwi dollar? How is the Euro? You know, how is the yen? All of those and the Canadian dollar even. You know, when you when you can find out which pairs are are, are are weaker against another another currency, which ones are outperforming that those turn into very, very, very positive trade opportunities. And, it, you know, especially if you know that something is trading like the Euro Aussie was right here, we don't have to draw anything out. We can just see that there's a significant amount of resistance that occurred right here. And the minute you start to see you minute you would have started to see the Australian dollar um, uh, kind of you know trade up a little bit or stay flat with the dollar while the euro was trading lower against the dollar and you knew that this pair here was trading near a resistance area that would have been a very very good trigger to initiate a, a uh, you know a, a fairly low risk short entry I wished I would have capitalized on it but I didn't um, anyways I hope you found this video useful and uh, hope you found it uh, uh, something of uh, use in your own trading and I look forward to speaking with you in our future videos. Thank you.